Development block. Oh boy, oh boy. And they really do wait for me to go go off before they post this, don't they? They're like, okay, Wednesday, Flumble's off. Time, time to go ham. Time to go ham. Duplay? Okay, how do you pronounce that? I, I, I assume it's Duplay or something like that. Because the French have a thing where they don't... Where, where they write out letters and then they don't pronounce them. Or is it Duplex? Duplex. <laughs> Durex. Okay, Duplex Z42. Durex. Okay, Durex. I like that. I like that. The condom and Z42. Close testing 0 0.11.11. .11. French cruiser Durex and the German cruiser Z42 have been added to the game for testing. Fair enough. Wait, what is that? Two guns in the front and two guns in the back. A suffering class heavy cruiser that differed from her sister ships in her armored scheme, which incorporated an, an internal armor belt. Okay, Durex. Typical treaty cruiser, heavy gunner was favored or strong protection. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> well. This joke is writing itself right now. <laughs> the ship is armed with eight 203mm main battery guns placed in four turrets and a torpedo armament comparable to that found aboard the researchable French heavy cruiser. Her main Battery's low fire rate is compensated by its long range and turret traverse speed, as well as the availability of the main battery reload booster consumable. Uh, hi, duplex, not directs. Directs are condoms. No, really? Oh, I had. <sighs> My bad. I had no idea. Uh, Durex is a sizable HP pool, but a vulnerable citadel and mediocre, conce mediocre concealment and armor. She is at her finest when engaging in mid and long distance gunfights, and her torpedoes get to, can get her out of sticky situations at close range. Yep. The ship's good maneuverability and her improved engine boost consumable can work in unison to help in quickly changing flanks or swiftly coming to the aid of allied ships. But engine boost, 15%, hydro, main battery reload booster. That's a lot of gimmicks for tier 6. That's a lot of gimmicks for a tier 6. 34.9k health. That's a lot of health for a tier 6 as well, isn't it? Isn't that a fair bit of health for tier 6? That was a rare case of flum the Flamu Joke emote being high quality. Man, I forgot how good that emote is, by the way. The Flamu Joke. Or sorry, Flamu Woosh. With literally an arrow pointing over his head. <laughs> 30 second fire duration, torpedo protection 10%. Main battery 4x2, 203, 16.9 range for tier 6. Okay. 34 million pound, 15% fire chance, 15 second, 15 second reload. I mean, this doesn't, this doesn't look, the ship doesn't look bad at all. What? Standard diff charges, torpedo tubes, 2x3, 9km torps, 60 knots, 15k. Okay. 1.3 conceal on the torps. That's actually really good for 60 knot torps. What the hell? These are really strong stats for a tier 6 cruiser. Hmm. Maximum HE shell damage, 1,300, chance to cause fire, okay, just secondaries, AA is dreadful, 32 knots of speed, 32 knots of speed, mm, we are going to run the speed flag, and we're going to run the 15% speed boost, what? This fun thing is fucking fast. Oh? This thing is hella fast. Decent turning circle. Decent rudder shift. Surface detect 12.1. That's not bad either. What? Gorizia has like, what, 13km with concealment build? 10.9 conceal on this thing. It does, or 38 knots. 7.1 smoke firing penalty. Venetia is crying in a fucking corner. 
Venezia with two of threes is like oh what nine km smoke fine penalty or something? Ten km. And you get DCP Hydro, Engine Boost, three minute engine boost, fighter, and main battery reload booster. Nine point nine. This thing looks wait, what the fuck? Engine boost what hello? Doesn't this this seem thing seem really strong? For a tier 6 cruiser. Like, even if the armor is bad, you got super engine boost to accelerate Juke, you got really good range to abuse, and you got reload booster to burst, and you got decent conceal as well, and if you have if you get to have to YOLO, you got strong torpedoes. This thing seems really strong. And the Turtiverse is fine. I mean, we're looking at Pensacola right now, Remember, do you guys even remember what Pensacola Turtiverse is like? Where, where's my Pepsi Cola? Like, if you want to cry, if you want to cry, this this is with with Turtiverse, with the with the Captain Park. Thirty nine second Turtiverse. It's got forty five second base. That thing has twenty five. This thing Pensacola also has fifteen second reload. Pensacola also has 15 second reload. Sure, Pepsi has one, one more gun on this turret, so two more guns in total. But 2.8, 4.6. So that thing does more AP damage. Yeah, 4.8 instead of 4.6. 820 meter per second shell velocity. Yeah. A bit slower by the looks of it. But the Pepsi has 15.7 km range. That thing has, what, 16.9? Yeah, 16.9 km range. 16.9 km range. 3k more health, 6% more torpedo belt. It's got 6, it's 6 knots faster. And is this with concealment expert? No, not quite. But it's stealthier as well, significantly stealthier. Like, almost one and a half kilometers stealthier. That thing looks really, really good for a tier 6 heavy cruiser. Oh, and it's got fucking reload booster. Holy shit. Jesus. That thing seems, like, really strong. Was it? Didn't they say, wait... Internal armor belt. Is it gonna have spaced armor as well? Or or even black belt armor? Hmm. It says vulnerable citadel. We'll see. O almost all tier 6 cruisers have a vulnerable citadel. Huh? This thing seems really strong though. This thing seems really strong. What? Oh, and unlike the Pensacola, it has really good torps as well. 3x 15k torps. 9k in range. Okay. What? Wow. That's... This thing seems... Uh, kinda over tuned so far. German Destroyer Z42. Whoa, those are some really modern looking turrets. German Destroyer Z42 Tier 10. Okay. A variant of the Type 1936B Destroyer class fielded by the Kriegsmarine. Unlike her sister ship, Z42's main battery is composed of dual-purpose guns. Okay, I don't know what wargaming means with dual-purpose guns these days. Sometimes they give them flex, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they give them AA, sometimes they don't. We'll see what they actually mean with this. Five twin 105. Five twin. Ten guns. Okay, that's a lot of guns. In terms of gameplay, Z42 is reminiscent of Harugumo. Due to her quick firing guns with increased armor penetration and good AP shell damage, she is quite capable of countering enemy destroyers and supporting allies with covering fire. Her torpedo armament is, is represented by two four tube torpedo launchers with average characteristics for the tier. The ship's small HP pool is offset by her good concealment and speed. As far as consumables, Z42 has access to short burst smoke generator on a German? Germans usually have the worst smokes in the game. They have a really sh they last a short time, but they have an insanely long cooldown, which basically makes German smokes the worst in the game. Giving them short burst smoke, like even just a Z52 with short burst smoke is hilarious, would be hilariously powerful. 
Because one of the big issues with these ships is, is it's hard to reposition and it's hard to re-engage once you've used your smoke. So short burst is a huge fucking advantage. With a short action time, a large number of charges, engine boost, and hydro. Can they give it German hydro though? Short burst smoke and German hydro is really powerful together. Ship stats. 19.7. Didn't they say it was supposed to be low HP? Ship small HP pool. How is 19.7 a small HP pool? I'm sorry, are they even playing their game anymore? How is... Wait, how is 19.7 a small HP pool? That's here. That's more than gear. Small and Yu Yang. What? How is that a small HP pool? Because, of the, because they added all these fucking super destroyers? Sus. I don't really get that. Um, 5x205, firing range 12.6. Wow, that's a really good base firing range for a destroyer. 12.6. 12.6 is actually really good. Maximum HE shell damage 1.2k HE 26mm base pen. So you can get, what, 31 with IFHE? Unlikely you'll, you'll spec IFHE then. You'll just use it for fire starting, I guess. Mm. Chance to cause fire, 5%, 900 meters, X AP shell damage initial. <laughs> 3.1 1 second reload. On 10 guns. Wait, what? No, it does get, it gets to 32. Oh yeah, because it's not 25, it's 26, so it gets exactly to 32. Wait, let me, let me actually, uh... yeah, yeah, like 0.5, you're right, you're right, it gets to 32. Wow, that's actually really good, so you can farm 32 millimeters, but 3.1 second reload on 10 guns. That's... With 1.2k on HE, it's mostly be an AP, AP mostly boat? I don't think so. Because you got 10 guns with this reload. And you're going to build it for guns with this kind of firepower. I don't think this is going to be an AP boat at all. I, I mean, you can use AP, but I think the HEDPM... The HEDPM is going to be over 200,000. How much is it? 240,000 HEDPM. And that's before you build. Jesus. So you're going to build it for guns, guaranteed. What? 240,000 HE DPM. No way. Is that is that ac is that accurate? That puts it on Harugumo's tier. I guess it makes sense. Wait, what's Harugumo's gun power? Harugumo sits it. Mm. It makes sense, right? Harugumo has really. Haruguma has really low HE alpha as well. Shit, I've just sold my Haruguma, haven't I? To, to reset the tech tree line. Yeah, 1.2k alpha, 3 second reload. Yeah, 1.2... It's same gun, it's same fucking Haruguma stats. Is that guy gonna tell me uh, this is gonna... Uh, Haruguma is also an AP boat because Haruguma has 1.2k H alpha? I don't think he's gonna say that. But 1.2k HE alpha. Yeah, yeah, no, no that, that, that makes sense then. 240k makes sense. Actually, it's not going to be 240k. It's going to be less. It's going to be less because it had 3.1 second reload and this thing has a 3 second reload. It's going to be less than 240k. 232k. Yeah, that, that number sounds accurate. That, that number sounds accurate. So it's going to sit here, right under Harugumo in HE DPM. Okay. With short burst smoke and here. Every other ship here lacks that. that. Okay, that's kind of scary. That's actually kind of scary. And 440k AP DPM because the AP value is, is so high. So the AP DPM is going to be like way above here. 100k above the Haruguma. Okay, that's an ins that's insane gun power. That's insane fucking gun power. And this is before you build it. You got to remember in World of Warships, 
all um all buffs are percentage based so it's always percentage of something so the higher the base value the higher the bonus so you add the fucking 10 12 percent 20 percent dpm on 200k and you get another 40k on top it's it's huge so this thing is gonna scale to the fucking moon the ship is gonna fucking scale to the moon and you can, you, it's German, so you can put Gunther Lutjens on it as well. And it's going to be really easy to proc 140 hit main battery hits in this thing. It's going to be so fucking easy to proc that. This thing is going to have in... Okay. What? Okay. Um, these are Turtivers. Death charges. It's not pretty standard. Torp? Wait, why are the Torps so good? What? Torpedo tubes, 2x4, 18.4k alpha. That is much better than German torps. Wait, what? Why would it get such good torpedoes? That makes no sense. Why would it get such good torpedoes? Z52 torpedoes are... 14.4. 14.4k. And it gets 18.4. That's four, what? Pin came range as well. 66 knots. It's kind of like, wait, is this torpedo build? Z52? I think it's torpedo build. Z52. Yeah, that. No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. Okay, so it's three knots slower, half a knot. But the alpha is so good. Torpedo detectability 1.8. These are insane torpedoes, though. Like, you can actually YOLO ships with this this thing because of the, the alpha. You can one-shot. 100 second reload? Sure, but I mean, who gives a shit? You're going to be farming with your guns 90% of the time. You're not reliant on damage output. You, what you need these torps for is if you have to YOLO someone, or alternatively, if you're torping a destroyer, you want a big fucking hit. And for those situations, this is going to be great. The reload is, is kind of irrelevant. The alpha is much more important for a ship like this. AA defense. So is it dual purpose? 100%, 100%. Five flak. Five flak. Very short range, though. Hmm. It's it's okay. It's not impressive, but the, the AA is... I mean, the 100% accuracy is nice, but the alpha is, alpha is decent as well. But five flak is pretty shit to defend yourself. But you have the short burst smoke, which is going to be so valuable. Like that's the best AA in the game. You can or best countered CVs. You can go undetected. Thirty-six point five knots. It's not that slow even. What? How is it so fast? That's actually pretty fast. Usually, if you're like, uh, if you have smoke, and a lot of gunpower, there should be like a trade-off. Thirty-eight. I mean, Daring, for example, have short smoke and a lot of gun power, and for that reason, Daring is hilariously slow. 36.8 with a flag. And this thing is fast. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Like, or Sher Sherman is another example. Very slow, 33.9. Like, that's another example of... Arguma, on the other hand, is it's decently fast, but it's huge and clumsy. But this thing is, uh, six, what? Turning circle 670. This thing handles like a god. It's got engine boost as well. It handles like a fucking god. And so... What? What? There is no way this is gonna go to live. There is no way. I, I realize this developer doesn't play this game anymore. Like, it's fucking obvious when we look at the devlogs. Like, they, they have no idea what they're pumping out. But there is no fucking way a 7.2km base can seal with Haruguma DPM and short burst smoke makes it on live. No fucking way. A ship that handles like this... 
No way this thing goes to life. No way. This goes below six. This goes below six. There is no fucking way. 5.8. No fucking way does this bullshit hit life. No fucking way does this bullshit hit life. 2.4 smoke firing penalty as well. Okay. Damage control. Short burst smoke. It's the, basically the best ones. Reloads seven, 70, 6 charges. Engine boost as well. F so it's hilarious. It's gonna actually going to be very fast. Hydro. 6km Hydro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There is no fucking way this thing we're seeing here hits life. There is no fucking way this thing fucking hits life. This is the biggest combination of compressed bullshit I've ever seen. I realize these devs have no idea what they're doing these days, and they clearly don't fucking play this game anymore. But there is no fucking way this shit hits live. This is no fucking way. 5.8km conceal, 6km hydro, short burst smoke, uh, built in HE penetration, which means you even gun about like the tanky destroyers that are supposed to be resilient and hunt you. You even gun uh, sm uh, smash those guys. I, what fucking incredible YOLO torpedoes. And what the fuck is it? Is it like a normal sp engine boost? So where do we sit? We sit at 36.5x. Oops. And then we do... Speed flag and engine boost? Is it the f Oh, no, sorry. It's an 8%. It's an 8%. Of course, it's an 8% speed boost. That's the standard, right? Forty one knots. Forty one knots. Please don't underestimate wargaming. No, I I realize this dev doesn't play the game anymore, but no fucking way. No fucking way does this thing hit live. Like this is this this entire thing is horseshit. This entire no way. Like small end squad hit live, dude. I refuse to believe this developer has become so dented that they would put this ship online. I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe that they're so dented they would put this thing online. No fucking way. Stealth Hydro, Short Burst Smoke, 41 Knots, Harugumo DPM, Built-in HE penetration, incredible torpedoes. Like, what? what is the downside? The low HP pool? The low HP pool? 300 more health than a gearing? <laughs> low HP pool, by the way. What? <laughs> no fucking way. No way. No fucking way. No fucking way. I refuse to believe it. So, what was the base DPM on this thing? 200 and... what? 32k HE DPM. Was 232k HE DPM it had? Have... 232k HE DPM. Okay, so you got 232... Uh, wait, you got 232 and then you're gonna build... Close quarters for 10% DPM. Uh, and then you're going to build uh, the reload mod for another 12% DPM. And then you're going to proc Luthien's fucking easily for another 7.5. Right. And then let's pretend you're half HP. So you're going to get another 10% from the AR. Oops. That's... Oh, but it's 10%. Isn't uh, It's the same on the destroyers. Isn't it 10%? It's 10%. Yeah, it's 10%. It's the same, whatever. Like, the, the, they are completely the same. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to proc AR. So we're going to get another, let's say, 10%. We're not going to be... We're just going to be half HP. 338. 38,000 DPM. 
338,000 HE DPM. What, what's like cruiser DPM at the, at like tier 10? <laughs> Jinan DPM. <laughs> Jinan Rooster DPM. <laughs> there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way this thing hits live. No fucking way this thing hits live. No fucking way, no. I, no, I refuse to believe it. I realize that they don't play the game anymore. The guys that design these ships and, and print out the debugs, they have no... They haven't played the game for like 15 decades and it's fucking obvious. There is no way that thing hits live. No fucking way. Conde hit live. Okay, that's... That's fair. And Malta hit live. And Smolensk hit live. And... Okay, I know they are special, but surely not. Sh surely not. Surely not, right? Surely not. Surely not. Sh surely not. You hit 800k AP DPM. Surely. Surely not this time. Surely, chat. It's German? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's German. So a bunch of fucking variables are gonna buy the ship even if it's absolute dog shit. You gotta understand. You don't need to make it fucking good. Look at Z44. How many Z44 players didn't we see in tier 9 rank? Like, every game there's one. You don't need to make a ship good to sell it to Germans. They buy it anyway. So why the fuck would they release something that overpowered? Look at Unhalt. Exactly. Like, look at 15 German BBs that are basically identical. No fucking way. That would be the first total overpowered German ship. Uh, no, T-61 is objectively overpowered. And mines is probably far too overtuned. I'm not sure if it's overpowered because it's so squishy. But in good hands, mines is kind of broken. So, uh, Weimar is really good as well. There's a fair few. And the, yeah, the pre premium CV is broken as well. So, there are absolutely good. Good slash overpowered German ships out there. But a tier... 10? I'm sussy. I'm sussy about that. I'm sussy about that.